guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be testing out a bunch of Inside Cosmetics products. Now, they were kind enough to send me a PR package and I will insert a video of what exactly the products are, but this is how it looks like. And I have also bought some other products on my own as well. So I am going to be testing all of them out today. It is like an almost full face of Inside Cosmetics almost now having said that i will still be giving my truthful honest opinion about each and every product because we are going to be doing a wear test on my oily greasy skin and also for foundation shade reference of nc40 in mac and in maybelline i'm 310 sun beige now if you have not already then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to be notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right in the video <laughs> Now I have zoomed you guys in and uh, as always I'm going to prep my face by using a blotting sheet first, removing all the excess oil and then we can apply the makeup. So yeah, even before applying my makeup, this is how oily I am. So that's done. So the first product that we have is their three-in-one primer. Now this is how it looks like. Now this is oil-free. It claims to be long-lasting. Now it says that the primer increases the longevity of your makeup, gives 24 hours lasting with satin finish. We will see how long it lasts on my oily skin. Now, this is how it looks like. It is a transparent silicone kind of a primer. First, I'm going to apply it on one side of my face to show you guys how it works. So yeah, this side is with primer and this side is without primer. Let me just reduce the brightness so that you guys can actually see. This is actually better. So yeah, this is primed, this is not primed. That is this thing about natural lighting that I kind of don't like. It is so inconsistent, you know, it could be super bright, it could be super dark, but yeah. And now my whole face is primed. So next up we have the Pro Conceal Palette. Now this is the color correcting palette that I chose. However, I bought this one myself as well. So yeah, we're going to be testing both of them out. Now in this color corrector, the only one that I'm going to be using, I mean two of them that I'm going to be using is the orange and the green one. Uh, the orange mostly for the darkness around my eyes, which is not that much, just a little bit here and there. And the green one for the redness on my face. So just spot conceal some of the redness that is there on my face so yeah so i'm gonna take the orange one first so here is where i have the most darkness on my eye which again it's not that much but it's there now we're gonna go for the green one wiped my fingers clean i'm just going to use my fingers itself to blend these and like i said it's just spot concealing so i'm just going to like blend it foundation we have is their ultra thin second skin and i chose the shade 04 warm nude however i also picked out myself is the shade 03 sun beige and 01 golden honey i have already checked and my shade matches with 03 sun beige now this dropper so it is quite weird so yeah i've taken the foundation to the back of my hand and uh, Let's go on. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to pour it to the back of my hand because it doesn't seem to come with the dropper. Now, this is how it looks like, which is given such a nice natural finish. It has a bit of a dewiness to it, which is great. Uh, now this has however given me like a light to a medium coverage it is buildable which is great but yeah i'm just gonna leave it at this i'm not gonna apply any more now on this side i'm gonna be using a brush Now 
Now there is still a little bit left over but overall everything looks great. Now uh, the coverage is a little bit more using a brush obviously. I'm usually a beauty blender kind of a person uh, but yeah the coverage is better in the brush version brush part and uh, but yeah otherwise everything looks great but yeah i feel the foundation has given a beautiful finish it's like skin but better you know so the time right now is about 9 15 a.m that's when i finished applying my foundation so yeah for concealer this is the pro palette that i picked up and i'm gonna use the lightest shade over here to conceal under my eyes now for that I'm going to take my uh, concealer brush and I'm just going to directly go in. Yeah, this is how my eyes look like after being concealed now one quick note is that this kind of concealer it does need to be set pretty quickly uh, I'm just gonna quickly go over with my contour which is the duo two-in-one stick now this has a contour as well as a highlighter and uh, yeah and this is the shade I'm gonna take my contour brush So for loose powder, I'm going to be using the Fit Me uh, loose powder, so yeah. And now for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using their Pro Eyeshadow Palette. Now this is how this beauty looks like. And uh, is there any number for this? There's nothing on the packaging. So I picked this off of Amazon and this is how everything looks like. Now for today, I'm just going to be using is only this beautiful middle shade right here. The silver one over here. And uh, the only thing is that all of these shades are actually metallic kind of shimmery shades and i wish they were mattes in this at the least like two or three mattes it would have been great like this eyeshadow palette would have been a bomb if that was the case but nevertheless i'm going to be using just one eyeshadow and that is this beautiful silver one right here so to set my eyelids i had already used uh, the concealer on my eyelids as well as a loose powder on it to set it uh, so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to take a brush over here just a dry brush just to see how this eyeshadow works on its own so yeah, i'm able to pick up the product without wetting the brush but yeah, let's see now i have a feeling there's going to be a bit of fallout so i would suggest baking under your eyes to catch the glitter particles This is such a pretty shade. Okay, this is so pretty. Okay, so for this side of my eyes, I'm going to be using my fingers to apply it. It has applied pretty nicely. It's a bit more subtle over here compared to the brush side, but yeah. So, so I am going to end up using the dry brush again because I like the way how it applies with the dry brush. Like it is much more better like in person. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it is freaking pretty. And now for the eyeliner, I'm going to be using their Liner Express and this is in black color. So yeah, this is a felt tip liner and uh, wish me luck. Pretty quick and easy and it is quite bold as well. Like even with all the glitter particle moving about, it gave a nice bold black eyeliner look this is something that i've been contemplating if i should do it or not do it i'm just going to give this wing a baby wing as well so let's see 
Okay, this looks a bit okay, but I'll just clean up this part of it quickly. Now, let me try doing it on this side and I'm praying to God it comes out even. You know what, we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> This side is a bit pointy up, this side is a bit pointy down and uh, yeah, it is what it is. I'm just going to take off all of this excess powder. Now I'm just going to quickly add some blush. So I'm going to use next is the setting spray and then I will do my mascara, falsies and kajal. So yeah, makeup fixer spray. Okay. This has a very strong fragrance by the way. Okay, I almost forgot for the lips. Now, for the lips, they had actually sent me one of my favorite shades that is 01 Joyful from their non-transfer lip color. But then, I am going to be using something else. Okay, so for lips, I am going to be using their Super Lip Liner in the shade 09 Pillow Talk. And I'm going to be using the 24 hours non-transfer bullet lipstick and this is in the shade 06 scent nudes. Ah, oh, it's become cloudy. Okay, this is how the lip combo looks like. So I'm just going to quickly add some mascara, falsies, kajal and I will be right back. So I'm back and I have completed the rest of my eye makeup and this is how everything looks like right now which I love. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I love the eyeshadow. Now the only thing is that I forgot to use is their highlighter which is the 2-in-1 duo but before that the time right now is about 9.54 a.m. So yeah just FYI on that. Now this is how the highlighter looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a book on my nose and uh, also in the inner corners of my eyes and what I'm gonna do is for my nose I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it which blends seamlessly and for my inner corner I'm just gonna use a brush like this one and uh, just so yeah this is how everything looks like and uh, yeah I will see you guys soon for the first check-in Hey guys, I'm back and it is a little over six and a half hours. So the time right now is about 3.42 p.m. And this is how my makeup looks like overall. I am a bit shiny and a little bit oily, but nothing too bad that I have seen with other foundations, which is great. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that this foundation did oxidize on me. I don't know if you guys can see the color difference between my face and my neck. Now the thing is, I initially thought it was the color corrector, the orange color corrector, but then even my forehead is also kind of oxidized, so I think it's a foundation overall that has oxidized on me. So yeah. Now one full blotting sheet later, this is how my face looks like, which is not that bad. It still looks super fresh, it looks nice. Now one more other thing that I noticed about the concealer is that it did crease on my fine lines under my eyes. Let me just zoom you guys in and show you what exactly I'm talking about has creased a bit which is fine which is normal which happens with any much concealer but I just want to let you guys know about it so yeah oh and oh let me unzoom you guys and I also changed my lip shade so I had lunch the lipstick kind of came off and initially I used was 06 scent nudes the lip liner was still there so I just applied the lipstick alone and now I'm wearing is 08 Stay Basic. So I'll just quickly go over with my thoughts on each and every product. Now I've made a note of it so don't mind if I'm looking down. Now the first thing is a 3-in-1 primer. Now it is very smooth. It spreads very evenly which I really do like. It went on really well all over my face which I really liked. It also blurred my pores and also mattified my skin beforehand. So this is like a great prep for using before your foundation or if you're even going to use like a BB cream cream or CC cream or anything of that sort for a day-to-day -day basis because it is super affordable which is like 250 rupees for 30 ml of product. Next up we have is a Pro Conceal palette. Now this is a creamy, it blends seamlessly even if you use your fingers or a brush as well. Now I really do like the color corrector option because for this price point of 190 rupees it's a pretty good option to have and it did a great job for spot concealing for me with the green one and also the orange one for my dark circles. And I like the other palette too because 
because you have various options available for you to conceal now one thing to bear in mind for this particular product is that you will have to set it with a powder because this is the kind of concealer which is creamy and a little bit thick in consistency so it could crease quite soon so you will crease so you will have to set it with a powder as soon as possible next up we have is the ultra thin second skin foundation now this foundation it is very beautiful because it was skin like kind of for coverage it did give like a light to a medium coverage but it is buildable and also this spread out pretty easily it evened out my skin tone even with the color corrector I couldn't see it so it gave a very good base to work with and I love that it gave a nice glow to my skin and if you have dry skin or normal skin you will love this foundation for oily skin like I mentioned before it does give like five five and a half hours of wear time and then you will have to blot your face I personally loved applying it using a sponge but if you want more coverage you can use a brush now the only drawback or the con that I could think of for this foundation one the dropper it is a hassle to use and also it is not sanitary to use the dropper right on your face itself and applying it I would suggest using it at the back of your hand and then using your brush or your sponge to apply it the next con for this will be the shade range because the offer is only four shades now I am a medium skin tone kind of a person and for me itself three and four kind of match four was a bit darker as the time went on but three also gave a good match so yeah I really wish that their shade range kind of increased hopefully in the future and the last point that I could think of is not like a con but more like an FII is the fact that these kind of oxidized on me and uh, yeah just to keep in mind that it does oxidize a little bit not too bad but a little bit it does the next product that we have is the 2-in-1 Duo Stick. Now, I actually was pleasantly surprised with this product because it blended so well. I love the neutral or cool tone kind of a brown and it blended so easily because I use is the LA Girl Pro Conceal, which I love, but it takes a while for it to blend. But this one was super creamy. It blended so well and evenly as well. And also I was surprised about the fact that the highlighter was actually pretty good. Like I was not expecting that at all. Genuinely, I was not expecting that. And the highlighter was pretty good. I didn't use it on my cheeks because I wanted to see how the glow is of the foundation on its own. But on my nose as well as on the inner corners of my eyelid, it gave a nice pop. One thing that I noticed is that they do offer only three shades. I again wish that they increase the shade range. And for mine, there is no number or anything mentioned which one it is. I think it is number three, shade number three. But yeah, I'm not very sure about that. But just yeah. Next up is the eyeliner. Now this is a felt tip liner. I usually do not prefer felt tip liner personally. But then this was pretty soft. There was another felt tip liner, I do not know which brand and that was a pretty hard felt tip liner That's a, and that's the main reason why I don't like them. But this one was pretty soft and also it glided beautifully even with all this eyeshadow. You can still see it, it was pretty bold, I just needed two layers and you're good to go. And next up is the eyeshadow palette which I actually do like and especially the silver colour that I'm wearing right now which is so beautiful and very shimmery and glittery. The only thing is that it does have a bit of a fallout so if you are using it, bake under your eyes so that it catches the glitter particles but apart from that it is absolutely fine and even the glitter particles were not like really bad because I wear contacts, my eyes are quite sensitive and nothing happen to my eyes as you guys can see so yeah I really do like it the other shades as well they went on very smooth very buttery I will insert a picture of the swatches that I did so that you guys can see how beautiful all the shades are and I cannot wait to use these again now the only thing that I could think of is I wish they had some matte shades at least like two or three because then this will be like a one-all eyeshadow now with this it's all shimmery shades, all metallic shades and it has this glitter shade as well but there is no matte shade so you may have to reach out for another palette just to use this one. So yeah, that is just one thing that I wanted to let you guys know. And for the last product we have is a setting spray. Now this is a very good mist. I really like the spray of it. Again, I was not expecting that. I thought it's just gonna be like bam on the face kind of a thing, but it has a very nice mist to it. And it also set my makeup pretty well. It gave a nice hydration to my skin with the makeup on. And one other thing is that if you have sensitive skin, I would kind of suggest avoiding this because it does have a very strong fragrance to it. So yeah, you can skip on it if you have sensitive skin. Oh, 
and for the lip products i have already done like in-depth reviews about all the three products that is the non-transfer matte liquid lipstick the 24 hours non-transfer bullet lipstick as well as their lip liners as well so i will link all that video above as well as on the description box below you can check that out so yeah so yeah guys these were my thoughts on the inside cosmetics products and this wrap today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to which one of it whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try and visit for you as well as follow me on my socials which is Ishanaya on instagram and Ishanaya on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye